Peace be with you, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we are thinking about how long we have this pandemic of the coronavirus in our communities, how this one is affected in our homes, in our families, in our world. So, 40 days ago, we started this pandemic, the coronavirus. And today, I think we had to think about what is the important things we are preparing in the beginnings, try to collect all the food, try to buy the all, all the things that we needed, and we try to challenge and to answer to the all the needs of the community or the family. After many days, sometimes we feel tired, we feel exhausted, we feel anxiety, and we have a lot of things, a lot of doubts. What is the things that we have to do with? My invitation today is to work for the family that you have it right now and work for this community that is very important how we can do it very simple think about how we can increase the communication in our family is when your children knows what truly you want us to do it why when you express and communicate with them when you when you are talking the same language it's very easy for them to help you to understand what you want and to follow you in different things. The signs happen in the relationship with God. You are now the teachers. You are the catechists for your children. And this is the opportunity for all of you to transmit to your children your living faith. And this one in very simple moments. The first one I think is very important is your meals. How you share the table as a family. How you dedicate this time just to share as a family. You turn off your, t your TV, your phone, your iPad, and everything you have it. You disconnect it for all these kind of things and you connect it with your family. Listen one another, accept one another. Value what every person participate and give to all of you. I think it's very important and necessary. You have time for share, for play games, for laughing one another, for sing for remember a lot of things a lot of histories for your family and i think it's very important but the other important thing is how you are praying it's necessary my suggestion is in all your homes you can prepare the kind of altar that you have in your home remember that you now you cannot come to the church but you are the church and you have to make the church presence into your home. And you have to transmit that the presence of God is there. And you are this relationship with the living God. When you have this one, you transmit to your children, how is this relationship? When you pray with them, when you come with God in these moments, in all these special moments, when you value what you have it, when you share with, with them the beautiful things that we have it in life, the beautiful day, or this challenge that we have every time with this circumstance. When you pray for the people are sick or the people are in need, this one is very important. So my invitation is come with these moments with the presence of God and work for this communication in your family and make this time special because as a family, you need to grow in your faith, in your communion, in your community, and your communication, and I think especially in your love. God bless you, and I hope to see you soon.